castle hath a pleasant seat. The air nimbly and sweetly recommends itself unto our gentle senses. This guest of summer, the temple-haunting Martlet, doth approve by his loved mansionry that the heaven's breath smells wooingly here. No jutty, frieze, buttress, nor coin of vantage, but this bird hath made his pendant bed and procreant cradle. Where they most breed and haunt, I have observed, the air is delicate. <laughs> ah, honoured hostess, the love that follows us sometime is our trouble, which still we thank as love. Herein I teach you how you shall bid God yield us for your pains and thank us for your trouble. All our service in every point twice done and then done double were poor and single business <laughs> to contend against those honours deep and broad wherewith your majesty loads our house. Where's the thane of Cordor? We cost him at the heels <laughs> and had a purpose to be his purveyor. But he rides well and his great love sharp as his spur hath helped him to his home before us. Give me your hand. Conduct me to mine host. We love him highly and shall continue our graces towards him by your leave. Hostess, 